Today I'm going to attempt to land a daytime flathead at one of my favorite creeks. I'm going to put out a buffet worth of baits for the flatheads to see which ones they bite. I'm going to have fresh skipjack, fresh bluegill, and live bluegill. I'm also going to move every 30 to 45 minutes because I'm unsure where the flatheads are in the creek. They could be staging right here in this area. They could be halfway up the creek. I don't know yet. So this is basically exploratory fishing. I'm starting at the creek mouth and then I'm going to go down the creek. You got a lot of wind today and doesn't seem to be much current. So I'm just going to get blown around a lot today too. But I'm going to give it a try. Put my biggest live bluegill out in the channel. How about a couple of live ones out in the channel? I'm going to put a large skipjack head out. I cut a bluegill in half, so I'm going to put two half pieces of bluegill out. Cut bait. And since the water over here is really shallow, I'm going to put this piece of skipjack out there in the main channel of the river. All right, let the timer begin. I'm going to give this 30 to 45 minutes and see if anything bites. All right, it's been 30 minutes now and not a single bite yet. I'm gonna do a quick water temp check and then I'm gonna pull up all the rods and reels and move to my next spot. And I'm gonna to continue to do the same thing. Wait 30 minutes and then go to the next spot. So much easier to access my rods and reels without this back bench. And it is dry as a bone back here, so the leak that I had created by hitting a stump has been fixed. All right, time to move around some. So I was trying to catch some more bait because I've got only one bluegill left. I got a perch. And this is on a red worm. Whoa. A yellow perch. You don't see these much down south. Although someone recently caught a record one in a lake that's actually further south than I am. I'm not going to use a perch as bait. I want these guys to grow up bigger so I can catch a trophy sized one someday. So I'm going to put this guy back in the water. i see if I can catch another one. All right, no more bites from perch and nothing on the catfish rod. So I'm going to move again. Pick another spot and then wait 30 minutes and see if I catch something. So I've moved to a choke point here. The creek is narrower, so if anything swims by, I definitely see my bait. I'm down to one live bluegill out there. The other two, they didn't make it, so I turned them into cut bait. I'm going to try fishing here to catch a few more bluegill because I'm on a rock bank and it's kind of deep here. So maybe I'll catch something. And I'm using my brush grippers the way they're supposed to be used on some brush to hold me in place. All I have is rope for this side. I really need to get me another couple of brush grippers from Hook Setter. Hook Setter never gave me any brush grips. I bought them myself, but I've got free plastics from them before. It's a nice smaller company. It's not as big as like Berkeley or anything, but they have some good products. All right, get me more bait. Got bluegill. Good at catching the bait and the small fish. Whoa! <laughs> Bluegill. Alright, I'm going to pick a rod and put this guy out so I can have some more live bait out. Maybe I put it on the one on the right side so it's right next to the rocks and stuff. Or maybe not. Got him. Well, got something here. He barely was biting on that. Where'd my bluegill go? 
<laughs> I think there's a flathead. Wow. Give him some drag. This is a big one. Wow. That was like no bite. It just barely hit the tip of the rod. Now, I don't know when that battery died during that fight, but that was a epic, epic, epic fight. I don't think you guys got to see me pull this fish onto the boat, but this thing is absolutely enormous. Look at this. This thing's huge. Ugh. Ugh. That is a massive, massive flathead. Huge, huge fish. Oh. I had to give him drag on the line because he just got to the boat and just took off. I'm going to get this guy in the net and I'm going to weigh him. He's going to barely fit in this net. Oh, I want to show one more thing real quick. Someone had him on the line before and it broke their line. Looks like Cajun Red line and a J hook. One less piercing this poor catfish has to deal with. He's so big he barely fits in the monster rod holder's net. The scale said 46 pounds. The net weighs a pound, so this is a 45 pound flathead. This is my new personal best flathead. What's even more fun, this is the very first flathead I have ever caught in this creek. I fished it my entire life. All I've caught were channel catfish, carp, bluegill, crappie, and a four pound goldfish a long time ago. I'm gonna try my best to get the release on camera. I'm solo right now and this is a big fish. This is a river monster. And off he goes. That was absolutely epic. I'm going to get another piece of skipjack on this rod and reel, get it out there, and maybe I'll land another one. First, such an enormous fish. I caught it on my battle cat. And this is a Team Catfish double action circle hook, ADOT. And I think I'm going to need to change out this leader now. It has a lot of abrasion on it. All right, new leader and hook on. Like the bass fishermen say, always check your knots and leaders after catching a fish. Big old piece of skipjack, maybe we'll get another one. The bluegill's still alive, so I'm going to go ahead and put him out too. Like I said earlier, it's going to be one on the right side here. That's kind of been a trend this year. My two big flatheads have been caught on skipjack. The one I caught in January in this video above, I caught on a skipjack head. I'm gonna get this bluegill out there and I might convert one of these other rods to another piece of skipjack. Other piece of skipjack. Alright, I'm starting to see turtles poking their heads up in the water. So the turtles are awake and I've seen a couple of just quick nibbles on my bait. So I think we have another flathead.
Whoa! Okay, I was going to try closing the video and all of a sudden we get another fish. But yes, there are turtles in the area and they're waking up. And once again, it's on another battle cat. This guy's going to get wrapped up in my line. Yep. Okay, he made it past that one. I don't think this one is quite as big, but I'm sure it's a flathead. Maybe he's a little bit bigger. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, he's smaller, but he's still a pretty big flathead. Now this is what I call a successful day. I came here to catch flatheads, and there you go. Big guy. That's a nice flathead. And I was just about to close the video and give up for the day. I'm actually getting hungry and the sun's going down. I don't have any lights, so I can't fish after dark. And I'm wanting to level my transducer while the sun's still up. So I'm going to officially say this is the last fish. And it is a beast of a fish. I know he's not as heavy as the other one that I caught. This guy's probably 30 pounds, 25 pounds. Really hard to tell on a flathead. I'm not going to weigh him. I'm going to get him back in the water. This has been an incredible day. And look at that mouth even on a small one. I'm going to get this guy back in the water. Ugh. Today has been absolutely incredible. I'm definitely going to be sleeping well tonight. Now I'm going to reel up the rest of these rods and reels and then head to the ramp. Oh. Of course, I'm trying to close the video and I keep catching fish. Oh, and these guys are fighters. They're just not going to leave me alone, these fish. Smaller one. <laughs> They're in here. Yep, this is number three. My first one was a 45 pounder. Today? Yep. And 
then once again my camera's battery dies while I'm fighting this fish. <laughs> Another respectable flathead. Very nice fish. I like the colors of this guy. He's got like black, yellow, and brown in him. Maybe I can get this guy released and finally be able to close the video. I really need to get my transducer fixed. What a day. I don't even remember what I said in closing before that guy hit. So this time, Maybe I can reel these up and fix my transducer. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. i make sure that I bring my night lights next time and just keep going until I catch every flathead in this creek. Of course, I wouldn't be able to do that because I've only got about half of a skipjack left now. Thanks again, guys, for watching.